Episodes officially come out next week, starting September 13th, but for now, I'll leave you with this little teaser. Where does responsibility lie? For something AI-oriented to be admissible in a courtroom setting, you have to be able to figure out how it made the decision that it made. What's that based on? I always knew Dumbledore was gay. I mean, his first appearance, he comes out in spangled purple velvet. Mm -hmm. She couldn't have made him look more like an Oscar Wilde dandy if she tried. And I think it's good also that we're seeing chosen one figures from like marginalized groups more and more. You know, it's all very well saying like the chosen one trope is massively overused, but actually it's not for certain groups of people. A lot of people bring up like the Outbreak movie. That movie is completely dramatic and does not represent reality at all. However, an older movie called The Andromeda Strain is perhaps the most accurate representation of what would actually happen. A lot of action movies try to kind of copy the style of the Bourne movies. It's a lot of quick cuts, you know, a little bit of shaky camera in there, which is really meant to kind of demonstrate just the quick and deadly efficiency that Jason Bourne has. I think the dragons were uh, always the precursor to burn the witch at the stake. You know, there was always a supernatural being of some kind to blame it on. There's so much we can understand about depth of time from a map. Cultures and geography are intertwined, forming this incredibly rich tapestry. If you look at sort of nerd culture, you have comic book shops, temples. These are like-minded people coming together, together and talk about things that they love. You have, you know, maybe your yearly pilgrimage to Comic-Con. All racist classes could, could be drawn to taverns. Um, you know, obviously we've seen the old trope of the princess in disguise or the prince, and they've never been, but... In reality, alcohol's the great equalizer. Sleeping Beauty is a huge one. I mean, this girl is literally going to lie in this bed in a tower until she turns to dust, until the prince gets it together and comes to kiss her because she's so gorgeous. I mean, in terms of solutions, that that, that's, that was always the hardest thing um, about writing this book and about talking about the book afterward, because people would be like, what's the solution? I'm like, I don't know, burn the entire system down and start fresh.